I did tell you that geometry was going to be a lot of vocabulary. So I want you to kind of look at some of these figures and try to identify them as I'm pointing to them. What would you call that? That's point B. What would you call this figure? You have to look. It has arrows at either end. It has points on it, but the arrows go on and on in either direction. That is line <clears throat> BC. And what's this one? It has one point, an end point, and then the arrow that goes forever in one direction. What do we call that? That would be ray CD. And then there's something else that I want you to think about. Look at this. It doesn't have arrows that go on and on forever. It doesn't look like a line because it's not going on forever, but it does look like part of a line. See how it there, then there, and then it's connected? So you have a point, let's call this point E, call that point F, and they're connected. It's not a whole line, it's a piece of a line, or it's called a line segment. That's the fourth um, vocabulary word that I really want to point out to you today. And for that, you would just go ahead and, hopefully you can see this one, you don't have the arrows on the end, it's EF, line segment EF. A point, one spot, line BC, it goes on forever in either direction. A ray, it has a particular place it stops, goes on forever the other way. And then we've got just a piece of the line. See how they kind of cut it off here and here? It is a line segment. A piece of a line, a segment of a line, or a line segment. Make sense? I'm going to have you practice identifying these on your, in your rotation today.